All right, I got a great method for finding the least common multiple and greatest common factor of two numbers. Unfortunately, this method only works for two numbers, but for two numbers, it works fantastic. It's called the ladder method. Ladder method. So we're gonna be taking these two numbers and putting them inside what could be considered as a ladder. Not really, but gotta think of the rungs on a ladder. So 36 and 54. And it's kind of like a division sign, division bar upside down. And we're going to use division because we're going to factor these numbers for the greatest common factor. So we got to look at 36 and 54 and ask ourselves, what can we divide 36 and 54 by? Well, I know 36 is 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. 54, the only one I can think about, is 9 times 6. So I found out, or I can think that both nine and six go into 36 and 54. I always try to choose the bigger number. So I'm gonna go with nine. 36 divided by nine is four. 54 divided by nine is six. Now we're gonna put another rung or another step on this ladder. And do the same thing all over again. We have the numbers four and six this time though. Four and six are both even numbers which make them divisible by two. So, that's the only thing I can think of that goes into both of them. I'm going to put this 2 on the outside. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Another rung on the ladder. We keep going like this until we find that both numbers share only one factor. And that factor is 1. And 2 and 3 are both prime, so they only share a factor of 1. That's how you know you've come to completion of the ladder method here. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 3 divided by 2 is three. What's great about this ladder method is that it will find both the least common multiple and the greatest common factor for you as long as you do the math correctly here. So the greatest common factor is going to be all these factors that we have on the left hand side. So I'm going to put GCF here and point an arrow to these and what you're going to do is multiply all the numbers on the left together. So nine times two is 18 times one stays 18. So I just found out that the GCF of 36 and 54 is 18. The least common multiple is going to be all of these numbers, and I like to tell my students that the least common multiple starts with an L, so it's kind of like all the numbers that are in this L shape here on the outside. 9 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 3. 9 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 3. And when we have all numbers being multiplied, it doesn't matter the order. I know that all those together equal 18. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So if I take 18 and 6 and multiply those two together, that will give me the least common multiple of 36 and 54. So 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 1 plus 4 is 10. So I found out that the least common multiple of 36 and 54 is 108. Least common multiple of 36 and 54 is 108. So there you have it, ladder method.